and so today's video is finally another storing photo cards video because I'm finally getting around to putting all these away because they've been sitting around for so long. Also on the day I'm filming this, it's you know's birthday, so I just put this picture on the front of this binder just to say that. So yeah, this is actually my victim binder. It's been such a long time, I have a giant stack of photo cards sitting next to me, but about like four-fifths of it is all one group because um, if you didn't know, I not so recently got into ACE and I decided to collect OT5 for all HJZM. So I mostly just have all of those cards which have just been building up for a very long time. But I'm finally putting all of those away in this video. So this is actually my victim binder that I put this picture on the front of, so we'll go ahead and start with this one. Now, since literally day one, I have complained time and time again about the from victim cards and on this magical day, I finally have the last Sungshik from Victim card that completes this entire page. I think I've been trying to complete these six cards for the last year, and it has finally happened. I don't know why it took me a year to get six cards, but this page is complete and finally done. I am so happy. The next card I have is a voice card, so we'll just skip all of this because this is actually all complete, pretty much. So the 10th chan card i needed came and i'm gonna switch it out with this one because he's wearing the same outfit and then this is like a far away card so this will just sit here and i'll put this chan card on another page actually coming back to this page i have this chan continuous with drama card with the cute pigs of the animal and it's gonna go right here because these are my continuous with drama and these are mayday and then this one has like a red background so it's just a nice center spot and this page divides my continuous collection from my mayday collection so i have it in the middle and then the last victim card i have is a non-album card so right here i have subin's new world merch pouch card and those are all the small cards i have for victim i have all of these but i'm gonna put these away with the larger inclusions Next up is my 80s binder, and I have just four very exciting cards. In this video, I'm only going to be putting away four cards, but I actually have all of my Fever Part 2 cards over there, and I'm going to be making an entire video just dedicated to putting all those away. So for this page, I have two more of the Seasons Greeting photo cards, and as you can see, I added this um, hollow paper to this page, and it's really pretty. So I'm going to move these around to add these on, but yeah, I have now Song Sung Wu Young, and Yeo Song. So I think I'm gonna leave this page like this. So I have the Fellowship DVD cards and then the Seasons Greeting cards down here. And then next up on this page, I honestly cannot even comprehend owning this. Like it has not dawned on me and I've had it for like a month now. And I really just have no thoughts about this card. Like I'm just gonna put this in and I have nothing else to say. Oh my God. And then I also have Mingi's Finale version Z. Like, obviously, this is also exciting to have, honestly, insanity. But here we go. And this page is entirely full. The only Finale card I don't have now is Sungwa's version A in the red shirt. And, like, I'm never going to get that. But also, it doesn't really bother me because this page is completely full. I cannot believe this has filled up. I remember putting away, like, my first Finale non-top three in, like, my first video. And this is how it looks now. That's crazy. Anyway, that's all I had for 80s and I'll move on to my third binder. And all of the remaining cards I have are all going in this binder since I've actually, since my last video, done a lot of downsizing and cut back on a lot of my collections and then I combined some together. So this is what's left. Also, I'm not too sure if I'm gonna keep this pink binder. I've seen Lil Tammy use these in her videos and on Instagram and they are interesting to me. So I decided to just get one to try it out. I would actually prefer to have the purple one, but the staples I went to only had pink. So we're just gonna go with this for now. But if I don't like it, I'll probably put these back in the white binders I have. So we'll first start out with Gravity. The first chunk in here is actually for Ace, but I'm going to put all those away at the end. So for my cover page for Gravity, I actually have this little collage, which I think is super cute. I first have their Season 3 album cards. For this page, I currently have eight of the nine. I'm only missing Minnie's version one. So 
So for version one, I have Sarah Majumbo, and then I have all three members for version two and version three. This is honestly the greatest Jungmo photo card of all time. It's so cute. And here is this page. I'm literally just looking to buy this one and then this will be complete. And this page is for the season three pre-order and fan sign card. So I have K-Town and then MMT round one. So at the top, I'll put K-Town. And then here I have spaces for their MMTs. And down here I plan to get their second round of MMT cards. They also have hollow makestar cards, which normally I would really want, but Jungmo's card looks like this, and it kind of bothers me because his background is so black and everyone else's aren't, and it just doesn't look good together, and I already, this card kind of already bothers me, but it's like more prominent on the hollow cards. I mean, I'll probably get them eventually, but for now I prefer to have the MMT version 2 cards to go here just so the page like looks better to me. I don't know, it's like every other card just doesn't have this black background, and I don't know, I don't really like it, but I still love these cards nonetheless. Then here on this page, I have spots for their season's greeting photo cards. This is my little non-album section, like this page and this page. And right here, I actually just got all three of their Black Rouge lipstick photo cards, and they're going to go on this row. And I'm so excited to have those because they're the cutest cards of all time. And lastly on this page, this is my page for like non-selfie type cards. So I have their season's greeting Polaroids and their season three IDs. I just prefer to not put these with their selfies because I think it disrupts the flow of those pages, but here's this page. And then I also have their season's greeting little IDs, but I don't think I'm gonna store those because those are, um, but yeah, that's all I had for Cravity. Then next up we have some NCT cards. I've actually like also downsized a lot of my Super M collection. Okay, so starting with Jaehyun, I have two cards for this page. This is one of my favorite selfies of his of all time, and this is his departure card, so it's gonna go here. I know departure comes before arrival, but I think these two cards look better opposite each other, and these two look better opposite each other, so they're gonna be like this. And then I also have his arrival access card. Yeah, Taeyong is in here because I don't have Jan, so if anyone in the USA has Jan and wants Taeyong, or um, Lucas, or Sunshine, I also have them. I really just need Jan's yellow ID, and that's like the last card I need, so... Yeah, if anyone has that, please DM me on Instagram. This is this page. I've also like changed up some of the cards in here. Like I put this page on here and this page is kind of random, but it's supposed to have like a whole pinkish, mauve brown tone to it. So I just put it here because I downsized my OT9 sets and just decided to keep this. So it's a bunch of albums combined, but I just like the look of this page. And then moving on back here, I have Nemo's other Polaroid, so I'm just gonna switch it out with this one. And that is everything for this collection. So moving back all the way up to the front, I'm now gonna put all of my Ace HJZM cards. So these aren't all HJZM, but I have this giant stack of Ace cards, and we'll just get started from the beginning. So as you can see, I've decided to collect OT5 because um, I love every single member so much. My bias is Dongyun, but after that, I pretty much don't have a second bias. They're just all equally next. So I definitely wanted to collect everyone. I have set this up firstly with all of their album cards at the front. I decided to just give them all solo pages, kind of like I did with Victon for voice, because there's not really cohesive sets. I mean, there are sets, but sometimes it's kind of unclear of like what would go together. And also I didn't want to do five cards per page for nine pages so I just decided to give them their solo number pages and I don't really have an 
like a aesthetic layout for these they're pretty much in order of favoritism so whatever card is here is my favorite and then like my least favorite cards go here that's just the way i'm currently doing it until i maybe change it up so in ace my bias is gangun and he's actually one of my like ultimate vocal biases in all of k-pop his voice is so amazing and that definitely drew me to him also he's just so amazing and i decided to put these in age order instead of later order because Songyun is my bias and I kind of just want his page first and yeah. So here is his page. Yeah, my favorites are definitely these three. Then next up we have Seiyun and the legendary um, lip ring and yellow shirt one. So this one is actually my least favorite as I think it's most people's least favorite but I might actually put it in the middle because it's kind of an eyesore. So yeah, I actually don't really have least favorite of him because these are at the back, but I actually love these. It's just they're the darkest. And so I may end up putting this one in the middle. And here is his page. Then next up we have June. And this one is also my least favorite and it's the most zoomed in so I think it's just gonna go in the center. But I think it's funny because if you like spread these out, all my favorite ones, his hair is the darkest and then I start liking them less as his hair gets lighter. I don't really know why. And I like literally love all these cards but just my favorite ones are just these. Yeah, also this card is what made me want to collect Ace in the first place, like just this card. And I bought it on a whim for no reason on Makari and then spiraled into all of this. Here is his page. Then for Yungwon, I'm actually only missing one of his and that's the only regular album card I'm missing for anyone. For some reason, for like every single member, all my favorite cards are the ones in the handbox. I don't really know why. And it's not necessarily because they're wearing those, I just think those cards are the prettiest. The one I'm currently missing for him, he's wearing like a bright blue jacket. I'm just gonna leave the middle spot open to remind me. So here are all of his, and then lastly we have Chan. So I have all nine of his. See, I seriously love all the ones in the handbox the most. This card is so pretty. He looks so just ethereal and beautiful. And those are all of the regular album cards I have for everyone. Next up, I have the pre-order pages. I have three of the Make Star AR cards, but I don't really plan on collecting these that hard. And so I didn't pre-plan out for these, but once I get the other two, I'll add a page in for them. So on this first page, I have Make Star version one. And this page is complete. And then for Make Star set two, I'm just missing Chan. But I'm in the process of buying it right now, so that will be probably my next video. Next is Make Star version three. And these cards are so cute. They have like nothing to do with the album concept. So they're just like regular selfies. Or they're like simple looking i find these cards so cute so i also have all of them for this page next we have mmt round two because the first round was just like standees and postcards there we go and then the second set of mmt are the halloween cards and i'm still just missing chan but i'm also trying to buy that one 
Honestly, these cards are like my favorite things of all time because vampires are literally my faves ever. Halloween's my favorite holiday. And these cards are everything to me. They're so iconic and just so nice. So there's this one. And lastly, we have the sub K pre-orders. And I actually only set this up for a four layout, like not even really intending to get this one because yeah, I don't have Saiyans in the yellow shirt with the lip rings and I don't think I'll ever get that one because clearly it's the hardest to get and these cards are very hard to find anyway. So I really just planned out for these four, but if I ever get it, yay but that's definitely like a card in my prior wish list on instagram but i'm not really expecting to get it anytime soon so here are these i love these cards i find it so funny that these are like the most expensive ones and like the hardest to get but they're like the worst quality they're so thin also clearly i like white sleeve but ace have the best photo card backs in all of k-pop so and then on this page um i didn't really intend to get these but i actually have all of the mad squad pre-order benefits because of a funny story that happened to me and priana in georgia but yeah long story short i have all five of them yeah i know this came clearly up there but i'm just gonna put these back here because these aren't really like that's just my hjzm collection and then this is just like other cards i have so here's this and then next i have pages set up for their season's greeting cards so on this first page i'm gonna put the regular cards these have such a pretty coloring to them they're so pink and pastel looking then this is for the clear cards and then for this page i have the IDs that came from HJZM and their season's greetings. And I just put two of these in one sleeve. <laughs> Truly don't know why IDs are the new clear cards or random inclusion for any and all K-pop related item. I really don't understand why IDs are a thing, but might as well store them. Now I'll go ahead and do a flip through of all the cards I just put away. I want to make an album collage of one of my extra HJZM albums and I'm going to do that and put it here so all my groups have collages. So starting off with the album cards, we have Dongyoon's Page, Seyoon, Jun, Youngwon, Chan, and then the pre-order pages. So Make Star version 1, Make Star version 2, version 3, MMT, version one and then the halloween then sub k the mad squad pre-order benefits season's greetings clear cards and the ids and those are all of the ace cards i'm going to put away in this video i have a couple more but they're not really pre-planned out for because they're just kind of random one-off cards but i'm going to put those away in my next video once i get the rest of the cards i'm waiting for here so that was everything for this binder Next up, I actually have this little mini binder, as you can see, here's it compared to the size of my hand. And I decided to condense down a lot of the collections that didn't really need to go in that pink binder into this. So here are the cards I have for this little binder. And then I'll also do a quick flip through as well. So I've actually decided to not collect 10 anymore, but these are the cards I wanted to keep. And then I downsized all my NC key cards, but I wanted to keep um, Taeyong and Doyoung. And then on this page, here's some more from the final round. These don't really make sense here, but I have these um, IDs for these two. And I figured I would just put them here because there's a spot open. Okay, so Dayan goes here and Ten goes here. I just made these sheets by cutting down old nine pockets and then re-hole punching them. So yeah, I didn't really buy any supplies for the sheets, but okay, these go here and then on this page these are for other resonance cards so these are cards that i just either pulled or traded for that i wanted so up here we have some arrival cards that i like and then down here are the oh that's departure and then arrival then i also have this page for these tour bus cards because they didn't really fit over there because i don't really have non-album stuff for nct so I figured I would just put them in here. 
So that's everything I had for this little binder, but I'll do a quick flip through of everything in here. There's some like random stuff up here. So first off, my leftover 10 cards, then final round and the more final round. And then this is like the divider to resonance. So these departure IDs, this is resonance part one, resonance part two, the NCT tour bus cards. Then I have my TXT collection. So this is from uh, Magic and then these cards just kind of fit here. Then I have my selfie cards. And then these are intentionally like this just so it made like a little pattern. But yeah, this is from Eternity. Then I have my 17 cards. So here's June. And these, the poet is like split up, but I thought it looked better like this because these are all kind of like earthy tones and browns and oranges. And then this page is all outside. So here's another one of the poet and then hope. And then this is begin and real. And I thought these look good together because he's wearing denim in both. And then this is Hengare. Then I have some of my produce related things. So Sungwoo and Wusuk. And then Tongpyo and Song. And then Sungyun. And more stuff from Equal. And then these Monster X cards that I wanted to keep. So the code and then the connect. The connect. Are you there? Follow Fantasia, and then these two core cards, and then there's just like some more units and some random song dupes in here. But yeah, that's this little mini binder, and it's just so cute and small. It's like this full, and I think it's such like a cute little thing to just have as like an extension of my collection for things that I'm not really actively collecting, but I just really love the cards, and yeah, I think it's just it's a cute little idea. And yeah, like little mini binders are becoming really popular these days on YouTube and just in the trading community. So I definitely wanted to try one out. And obviously, as you can see, this is just a little three ring binder. It's not one that has the six rings like a lot of people have from different Asian websites. But I don't mind that it's like that. And also, I kind of prefer this because I didn't have to buy any extra pocket pages. I could just repurpose the ones I already had. So yeah, this is my current little newest addition to my collection. The last things I'm going to put away in this video are my uh, large photo cards for victim that I'm going to put in my inclusions binder. I have some other bigger inclusions, but I don't really want to put those away because honestly, I don't really think anyone likes putting away big inclusions on camera. So I'm just going to do that later and then show you in my next video. But yeah, also I only did this for a he's Invicted, but I made these cute little Polaroid cover pages. This is not a real Polaroid, it's just printed, but I put it on brown paper and then like washi taped it on. So I also did it for Victon. This is like my favorite picture of both groups. So I think I'm just going to put these in the front here, um, because I've been meaning to do something with these. Yeah, let's ignore this. I don't know how many of these sheets I'm going to need, but we'll see. So first off, I have the last Chan card I needed for his set. So I'm just going to move some shit up here, and this one, how do I want to organize these? I don't think it really matters. I'm just gonna put this here. So I have these seven cards for the Voice to Alice Japan fan meeting. And all the last cards I have are their pop-up store tower records sets. Okay, now that I'm looking at these, I think I'm gonna turn these all the other direction because all my other Victon items are facing that way and I don't think I really noticed that. There we go. So I think I'm just gonna do these in, I guess just age order. Also, if you saw my um, Nyokyo haul, this is actually a dupe of itself, but I don't really care because the other one that I didn't get looks exactly like this because he didn't really change up his poses that much. So I'm honestly just gonna put the dupe in and just forget about it. Then we have Sengshik. Then Chan, who honestly had two that kind of just looked identical. Then Seijun. Then Ponce. Then 
Young Chan. This is actually my favorite card out of all 28. And lastly, Subin that sadly has to go on his own page, but I'll put those lenties back on this page. Yeah, these need to go in my actual binder, but I don't have their like sailor card equivalents and I want to have them before I put them in, so yeah, let's just ignore this. But yeah, that is all of these. So these are my fan meeting cards and then all of these. I'm so glad I could finally put all of these cards away because literally those ace cards had been building up for months and months plural. So I'm definitely glad to see the stack go away. Also, my next video will definitely be my storing away ATC for part two cards because I don't have any other cards and um, I'm almost done getting all the ones I need in the mail. So yeah, I hope you all enjoyed. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.